There, fits. I just need to slot in one. Plus two. It's some kind of code. Maybe there's a clue nearby. segments of a circle. Maybe there's some more information nearby, something that will tell me how this works. Each dial has four positions. Maybe if I get each dial in the right position. Did it. Now to check the door. Those clamps have the armor locked in place. Maybe there's a way to power up the mechanism? Release the clamps.
Might need this. Need to install these power cells. That should do it. Only two more. Just one more. There we go. The last one. All powered up. Now to get the dials in position. There must be some kind of code. Look at that armor inside. All right, now let's see what we can do with this material.
Are you Galeev? The healer? I had planned to spend the day gazing at the lands of my exile and feeling sorry for myself, but you're not from Sunfall, so this could be interesting. I came from the tenth city there. There's a sick girl. Her brother told me about you. The answer is no. What? No, I can't spare the medicine, nor my time to administer it. My resources are already spread thin, thin as the soiled cloths I have to use for dressings. Why won't you help? Look at it from my perspective. What meager goods I can get must be smuggled in. That's expensive. The behemoth's share goes to the military. Of course, there are the demands of the Citadel. Helis's kestrels are so prone to sticky ends. What's left, that's for the nobles, who can pay well for my services. Look at it from my perspective. A little girl is sick. I think we are calling to each other across an ideological impasse. What's stopping me from just making you do it? I'd have to cause a situation. And you wouldn't harm the only healer disgraced enough to work for the Shadow Karja, would you? Well, we've only just met, but yes, it's tempting. And take it up with the Citadel. They decide who lives and dies. Nothing you can do would compare to my punishment if I use the last of my stock on a tent girl. <sighs> You're kind of an ass, healer. There's no cure for a conscience, but in this line of work, I've built up an immunity to it. And yet, if you feel so strongly about this one girl, perhaps we can make a deal. My charity for a Thunderjaw heart. That's not how charity works. It is how deals work. You'd settle my debts for a while. I already have the part. Wow, we could already have a deal. Quickly now, let's salve your poor conscience. See to the girl, and it's yours. Not before. Oh, please. On my oath, this girl will survive to see our sad future. You and I shouldn't be seen together. Go on to the slums ahead of me. I'll find you presently. You do stand out in the crowd. That's enough excitement for my rest day. Someone says the word ceasefire. I hear the word never. The food is from Dowager Queen Nasadi, little ones. Her Highness knows times are hard and helps when she can. Eat, but bring some home for your families if you have one. I've heard whispers about you. Rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Some even say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary. Who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit of insanity. <sighs> I know how that feels. I'm sure you do. And so does Uthid. He's a good man, so naturally the Shadow Karja want to murder him. I've done some digging, and I think he's headed for the Green Climb. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. He could use some help, if you're so inclined. Stop being evasive and tell me who you really are. 
stop being evasive, you might as well tell me to stop being charming. It's impossible, but I like you, so I'll tell you a secret. I have friends in Meridian, and I like to do favors for them when I can. Uthid might be of use to them, if he survives. How do you know Uthid is innocent? I'm excellent at making inquiries. Look, he feeds orphans from his own rations and personally punishes anyone who hurts the old or infirm. The idea that he would try to kill Edaman is ridiculous. He must have found something that can embarrass the priesthood. Otherwise, Bahavas wouldn't risk marking such a well-regarded man for death. What makes you think he's on the green climb? He knows he'll be pursued, so he needs a hideout that's both familiar and defensible. He once single-handedly held off an entire bandit clan in those foothills. My guess is that he'll fall back on what worked before. I'll do what I can for Uthid. But what about you? What about me what? What will you do while I risk my life? Useful things, little huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green climb. Good luck. Ceasefire or no, my family is starving. Avad will have I'm to I'm flattered you want to chat budget. more, but if we're going to save Uthid, time is short. I've got to go. You really do. It's you. Hello again. I've brought someone to see your sister. How did you... What did we do to deserve... No, wait. I don't even want to ask, in case a shadow passes over and it's gone. Smart boy. She'll have his full attention, won't she? Once I'm freed of other distractions, yes. I can't believe Ruthid would turn his back on us. He's always been a right man. Thank you, man. again, for giving her a better chance. I hope Bahavas knows what he's doing, bringing in these outlanders. Shiana. At least if I, I knew a Shiana once. She sang in a tavern. How is your sister's singing voice? Uh, she likes Bob. lead up that rise. Must be the green climb. Up here. Time to climb.
All right, made it. Where did food scraps? I'll bet Uth had stopped to see if he was being followed. He must have kept going. I've got to catch up. Machine. Who's it's been hunting? Everything useful has been stripped. Who's it's been gathering components? Probably for ammo. Good meat. Uther <laughs> took down a Ravager. Not an easy kill, but worth it for the parts. Dead Watchers. More scrap for Uther's stockpile. The next one doesn't miss. Uthid? You're young for a bounty hunter. Or am I old for a soldier? I'm not here for the price on your head, Uthid. I believe you're innocent. Innocent? <laughs> Come on, then. If this is a trick, it's a good one. You've earned your kill. I'll find a use for you. No tricks. Just talk. All right. Speak. I want to know what happened at Sunfall. What really happened. All right. For weeks, each dawn in the tent city came with a new death. Always in their sleep, no struggle. The old, the infirm, sometimes the young. Those who couldn't fight for the cause. 
I should have realized then it was a culling. Who would do such a thing? They thought it was a curse, an evil spirit. But it was only a man. And a silent poison. It took time to catch him, but we did. We brought him before Bahavis for the sun's judgment. The high priest Bahavis? He's the one who put the bounty on you. Yes. He thanked me for my diligence, then had his guards release the villain. You see? It was he who ordered the culling. Then they turned on us. Should have died with my men, so their loyalty meant something. Twenty years I gave to the sun. For what? Malice and murder? As for honor, sacrifice, true sacrifice, the kind priests and rulers know nothing of? It's all a fat joke. If it's honor you seek, the sun car just seemed trustworthy. A little stuck up, maybe, but trustworthy. Those cards at once raided your Nora lands. Raided every land we could reach. It was the sun's will. I did what I was told. Others did worse. But as their captain, I had- Uthid, I don't care what you did. I, I can't absolve you. But the Karja are changing their ways. You could too. Perhaps. Avad doesn't understand what the sun demands of its soldiers. Perhaps he understands it too well. Now you sound like the blameless Murad. I can believe you're a good man. But why go with the Shadow Karja in the first place? Why serve them? Because of Itaman, of course. He was the one true Sun King. Itaman's just a child. Yes, an untainted vessel. I believed he was pure. But they used him, used our faith. I can see that now. No shadows under a noonday sun. Bahavas didn't need to disgrace my name. I did it myself, serving a rotten throne. I met someone who wants to get you out of this. A woman named Banasha. But first, we need to get you out of here. What are you? You look like a hunter. You give orders like a soldier who's been out... <laughs> Mercenaries. Think they'll all line up to tell me I'm innocent? Should have stayed on the plains, Kaja! The mountains belong to us! Key Cook's killers! When we're done with you, you won't even leave an echo! You didn't make it hard to be followed. Almost as if you wanted to go out in a showdown. Not much gets by you. Spotted some trouble! Where's she? 
shield mates. I shan't let you fall. Stash supplies up above. Grab what you can while we still have time. A robust defense is the most satisfying to break. All right, Marvels. We brought the priest out here, so let's put on a show for him. I know that, Hood. We've unfinished business, Bahavas and I. This will be difficult. I think you rallied to a lost cause. I don't intend to die today, Uthid. I did. But you're starting to change my mind. Time to fight!
marbles. Bahavas thought he had enough fodder to keep him safe. Now there's hope for justice. Will you come with me? This won't be easy. Bahavas still has his personal guard. <sighs> Snow chill, bitches. Cross there and we'll have him. I had to come here myself to end your suffering, Uthid, and mine. The Outlanders led us here, and now that they are dead, their price is most affordable. But enough with needles. It's time for blades. Remove them from the sun's sight! After. It's about to get loud. Scalp the savage. <laughs> blood the sun. <laughs> Make it hurt as the shadow falls upon them. A while longer than these guys. Kill a traitor. Kill a Nora. For sure, help me. <laughs> The sun sets on your pathetic life, Uthid. Kill the traitor! Kill a Nora! The fury of the sun! Stand before us! Fall! Make it hurt! As the shadow falls upon them! Kill a Nora! <laughs> the sun sets on your pathetic life, Uthid. Make it hurt as the shadow falls upon them. Into the fray! Kill a traitor! Kill a no! 
Laura! Whatever deal you worked out with him, I'll double it. More than double it. No. I'm tired of this, Bahavas. The lies and the violence in your cheap scented oils. I don't suppose you kill yourself. I had to. I had to. Prune the weak, or all the Karja and Shadow are doomed. This solves nothing. But may the sun find some worth among your drying bones. <laughs> That was quite a fireworks show. You took your time. I was busy. What do you think happened to Yan Shand, the other mercenary band? And I had to organize passage to Meridian for a wanted man. Give us a moment, Uthid. Girl talk. <sighs> You've had quite a day. I never imagined Bahavas would blunder into his own trap. His death opens up wonderful possibilities. Remember Edaman and Nasadi? The Child King and his mother guarded like hostages at Sunfall? With Bahavas gone, no one will be watching them. I want to get them out. And I could use your help. Kidnapping the Sun King of the Shadow Karja is no small task. It's not kidnapping. They want to go to Meridian, to safety. How do you know that? I've been posing as Nasadi's handmaiden. She's scared. For herself, of course, but mostly for Edaman. Why do you care what happens to them? Edaman is the Shadow Karja's figurehead. If he defects, it will remove their last trace of legitimacy. Beyond that, he's just a boy who clings to his mommy. He made a little grazer for me out of matchsticks once. It wasn't very good, but still, nobody ever made anything for me before. What's going to happen to Uthid now? Don't worry. You gave him a second life, and I'll put it to good use. He'll be welcomed in Meridian as a military advisor. Hopefully he can help Avad finish the Shadow Karja with as little bloodshed as possible. What's going to happen at Sunfall now that Bahavas is dead? Oh, it will be glorious. The priests will panic. They'll be infighting, skullduggery, and backstabbing as they wrangle for power. Best of all, they'll be distracted. Bahavas, your life brought misery, but your death is a flower that blooms in abundance. What do you need to get Nasadi and Idaman out of Sunfall? With Bahavas dead, Sunfall is the easy part. I'll handle that. The Big Fuss will be crossing the border to the Sundom. Find my friend, Three Tohuadiv, near the Branded Shore. I hired his crew to sweep the path, so all you have to do is wait for me. If this Huadiv has already cleared the area, why do you need me? Contingencies, little huntress. Something will go wrong, and I need protection I can count on. You. I'll try not to disappoint. The Nora said you would help me. Are we bound for Meridian? Only if you want to go, my dear. What choice do I have? None at all. I was just being polite. <laughs> 